Good evening, Creed. Your mystery playhouse story for tonight was written by Percival Wilde and is entitled The Adventure of the Fallen Angel. The leading role will be played by one of your favorite radio stars, Les Tremaine. In tonight's play, you're going to meet a woman named Lucky, beautiful but cynical, cold and deadly. A suave gambler named Ace Kendricks who plots to win a fortune with a marked deck and a steady hand. And played by Les Tremaine, a young man named Tony Venner, who discovers that the only solution to his desperate situation is murder. A death warrant is not always a legal paper with court seal affixed in wax. Sometimes a death warrant is a simpler thing. An ace of diamonds or a jack of clubs, gleaming ceilingward on a green felt table. As our story opens, Tony Venner, bankrupt young playboy, is leaving a nightclub intent on getting home before his hangover arrives. <laughs> Twenty thousand bucks. Where am I going to get it? Pardon me. Uh, hmm? You are Tony Venner. Oh, uh, sure. I am Johnny, Johnny the Gent, Mister Venner. You and me are taking a little ride. Oh, no, no, uh, wait get a... into the car, please. But what is this? I work for Rocco Rossini. Rocco. Yeah, Rocco. End of the car, no, please. All right, hit it up, Betty. Hey, you're you're taking me for a ride. Hey, listen, I, I told Rocco I'd pay him. Oh, please, I... please, please, don't raise your voice like that, Mr. Venner. You are a gentleman. I am a gentleman. Leave us behave like same. Rocco only asked me to see you get home safe, is all. Well, you you, you aren't going to. Uh, no, to... no, not tonight. Tonight, we just drive you to your place. What does he want me to do? He knows I'm broke. This is of no interest to Rocco. All he wants is uh, what you owe him. He tells me, say to this character, that's how he talks, Mr. Venner. See, he ain't been to school like me. So he says, uh, say to this character, Venner, that does he don't get up 20,000 clams he owes me in the fifth race at Belmont last Tuesday, he is fish in the Gowanus Canal. Well... How much time have I to raise it? That he doesn't tell me. Uh, this is your residence, Mr. Venner. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Oh, uh, Mr. Venner. Uh, a lady came in looking for you around 10. Said to hand you this envelope. Here. Oh, thanks. Uh, nice perfume she uses, huh? Um, what the devil is it? Is it just a playing card? The, the ace of spades. But didn't, didn't she leave her name? Oh, no, sir. Oh, she said for you to look at both sides of the message. Maybe there's something on the back of the card. Oh. Hey. This card's one of the fallen angels. And there's something scribbled here. Meet me tomorrow, 4 o'clock, Savoy Bar. Sign your fallen angel. Here, uh, waiter. Yes, sir? Bring me another old fashioned. Yes, sir. 20 after 4. Probably won't show up. Would you like your fortune told, sir? Oh, no, 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 thanks. Oh, but I'm very good, really. Let me try. Huh? Your initials are TV. What? You've gone through a $200,000 inheritance in six months. You're broke. You... You are good. Too good. You must be... Lucky. Lucky Maddox. You're a fallen angel. Sit down. Thanks. Did Rocco send you? <laughs> No. We want to help you, and you can help us. Us? Yes, I'm a friend of Ace Kendrick. 
He sent me to see you. Ace Kendrick? Oh, the gambler. That's right. Go on. He has a plan which, by an odd coincidence, will make you $20,000. 20000 Where is he? In this room, waiting to see if you're interested. I'm interested. Call him over. She doesn't have to, Vanna. Hey, what... Nice going, Lucky. You were sitting at the next table. Sure. But uh, let's get down to business. I'll deal you the setup. You're a member in good standing of the Metro Club here in town. That's right? That's right. And more than that, you're chairman of the club purchasing committee. Right? Yes. And the Metro's known for its high-stake games. Its members are exceedingly wealthy, and its membership is highly restricted. Well, for years, your members have played with a certain make of playing card known as the Fallen Angels because of the picture on the back. Right? Well, Fallen Angel decks are the tradition, all right, but we've run out of them. Companies quit making them. Exactly. Well, now, I have six gross of Fallen Angel decks. I bought them a year ago. And I've been working on them ever since. Working on them? Marking them. I can win, lose, or draw with them at will. Well, now, wait. I, I belong to the Metro Club because my father did. I, I've got a social position to maintain. On what, Mr. Fenner? Your social position is going to be horizontal unless you kick in 20 Gs to Rossini. Go on. What's the rest of it? Well, it's very simple. As chairman of the purchasing committee, you buy six gross of fallen angel playing cards from me. The ones I've marked. And your fellow members pat you on the back for obtaining them. And then later, you propose me for membership. I play, I win, you get 20 grand. Well, there, there won't be any rough work, no breaks. The only breaks there'll be will be good breaks for you, honey. Okay. Deal me in. Jeffrey Venner, I don't know how you ever got those cards. <laughs> I thought I'd seen my last deck of fallen angels. Oh, Tom. Tom? Oh, hello, Tony. Uh, Tom, I, I met a chap I'd like to propose for membership. You're on the membership committee, aren't you? The devil of a nice guy. Why, certainly, Tony. I'll push him. What's his name? Ace Kendricks. Uh, I mean, Mr. A. Kennedy. Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Mr. Kennedy, our newest member. Well, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Kennedy would like to sit in on your game if you haven't filled the table. Oh, here, Mr. Kennedy, take my spot. It's been pretty lucky for me. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. That's very kind. Shall we have a fresh deck of cards? Well, that beats me. You are a disgustingly lucky man, Mr. Kennedy, and I am disgustingly broke. I'm going home. Ah, Gatry, this Kennedy fellow has amazing luck. Won over 50,000 in three weeks. But look, Kendrick, why can't I have my 20,000 now? I know I promised to wait until you were all through making your killing, but I... I'm not sniveling, but Rossini is threatening to... Hello. Hello! Hung up. Why the dirt? Who's there? Me, Mr. Vanna. Johnny. The gent in person. Listen, Johnny. I'm going to have the money soon. Just ask Rocco to give me a little time. Ah, uh, that's it, Mr. Vanna. You got no more time. Will you stand up, please? Well, wait a minute. I, I'll get the money tonight. Oh, now, look. I'm a busy man. If this is a storm... No, no, on the level. A man owes me $20,000. Yeah? Well, then, you don't mind if I go along with you, do you? No, no. That's all right. I do hope there's no slip-up, Mr. Vanner. Well there, well, there won't be. He'll give me the money. He'll have to. Or I'll... Well, I'll get it. Don't worry. Hello? 
Holloway's. Well, Mr. Venner, come in. I just got back from our club. We had a good evening, partner. You had a good evening, Kendrick. I almost was shot by Rocco's executioner. He's waiting outside for me now. Oh, well, let me pour you a drink. Steady your nerves. Thanks. I'll get right to the point, Ace. In the last three weeks, you've made over $50,000 playing cards with the fallen angels. That's right. All right. Give me 30000 and we'll call the whole thing square. All the rest you win, you can keep. 30000 You get 20000 And you get it after I'm through cleaning up. No, Kendrick. I gotta have that money now. The scene can't be stalled anymore. Oh, you cheap little punk. I've always hated snivelers. Especially blue blood snivelers. Get out of here. You're not even getting the 20 grand. What? I hope Rossini rips your throat from ear to ear. It'll save me the trouble later. You're murdering me. You're handing me over to Rocco. Well, you won't get away with it. Put that candlestick down, you little fool. I'll put it down. <laughs> Sniffler, am I? Sniffler. You dirty, double-crossing murderer. Are you... Are you... You... Oh, good Lord. I... I couldn't have done that. He's dead. I must get out of here. Oh, Johnny the Jan, you, you see me? The back way. I'll go out the back. <laughs> How are they going to connect me with the murder? Nobody saw me go to Kendrick's except Johnny, and he won't talk. I'm just going to sit here and drink. Yeah, that's it. Get a drink. There. there. Just drink and forget it. Wait. Police. Oh, no, oh, no, not this fast. Who the devil? Who is it? Yes? Mr. Venner? Yeah, that's right. Sorry to trouble you. I'm Burke from Homicide. Can I come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Come in. Thanks. You knew Ace Kendricks, didn't you? Or perhaps you knew him as A. Kennedy? Uh, Kennedy? Yes, yeah, certainly I know him. Why? You knew him, Mr. Venner. Ace Kendrick's dead. Beaten to a pulp with a brass candlestick a couple of hours ago. Dead? But, well, I saw him at the Metro Club earlier tonight. Well, how... Who? How and who is what I'm after, Mr. Venner. This is just a routine check as yet. What time was it you saw Kendrick's last? Uh, about, about eight, I'd say, Inspector. Good gosh. Beaten to death. Uh-huh. Messy. Now, exactly what did you do from eight o'clock on? Uh, well, I... I uh, well, I suppose I must tell you in, in a case like this. Would be smart. And smarter still to tell it straight. Well, I... I left the club and, uh... Well, look, Mr. Venner, Kendrick's had hundreds of enemies. I have a lot of calls to make. You'd better come to the station with me. Well, no, no, I... It's, it's, it's just that I had a date. If she's your uh, alibi, you'll have to dig her up. Come along with me. But I... Who's that? Who's in the bedroom? Why, Tony, honey, you didn't tell me you expected anyone. Why... Hello. But she's... I'm, uh... Alice, aren't you going to introduce me, you jealous boy? Hmm? Oh, sure. Uh, th I'm from is... Homicide. You two uh, been here long? Why, since 9 o'clock at least. Tony picked me up at 8.30. Why? Just curious. i got to be going now. Look, son, let me give you some advice. When a friend of yours gets killed, that's no time for chivalry. Don't waste my time. Lucky. Lucky, you know? Sure I do. I don't know why you did it, but I know you did. 
I must have gotten to Ace's right after you killed him. Well, how, how did you know it was me? <laughs> I didn't. What? Thanks for telling me. I was surprised to get here ahead of you. Well, I, I didn't come directly. I, I was going to run for it. Went to Grand Central, and then I changed my mind. Hmm. It's too hot in here for a man's dressing gown. Over a dress. Here. Throw it on the chair. How'd you get in here? Up the fire escape, through the bedroom window. Why are you doing this? You were pretty thick with Ace. Ace is dead. Now you're carrying the ball. I thought you might need an alibi for your whereabouts. Oh, you're pretty icy, aren't you? Let's forget it. From now on, you're going to play at the Metro Club for big stakes. And to win. Me? Yes. I'm going to teach you the markings on the Fallen Angel cards you bought for the club. You're taking Ace's place tomorrow night. I picked up a Texas oil man last night. He's got plenty. I'll bring him along and you take him. Well, it is my only chance to get that money I owe Rossini. Lucky. Yes? Will you stick with me? I can't answer that, honey. I go with the money. <laughs> I think I got what it takes, Venner. I'll raise you 3000 Venner's had a terrific winning streak all night. Yeah, I know. He never won a nickel in his life before. One of those few lucky streaks. Uh, I'll see that raise, Tex. I'm bumping 5000 It beats me how I can be so lucky finding oil wells in Texas. The minute I come north, I get so unlucky. All right, I'll see you, Venner. Wow, a full house. Oh, Say, who's the lovely creature there. smiling at Benner? Oh, it's a friend of his. Of course, a lucky. She yeah. must be for him. You know, I think uh, Tex is on the make for now. her. Let's get closer. Yeah, Benner, I've lost 100000 to you, and I'm just about ready to call it quits. But uh, I'd like one more chance, a kind of quick chance. Okay, Tex. I owe you a chance. Well, we'll cut cards. High card for $200,000. Two hundred dollars Hey, that, that's pretty steep, Tex. Well, then, you kind of think it over a few minutes, Banner. Uh, well, Joe, uh, bring me a drink, will you? What do I do, Lucky? Do it, honey. How can you lose? You know those markings as well as I do. Yeah, but the 100000 cleans me out, Lucky. I have to pay Rocco Rossini 20000 tonight. Or... Look, let's make it 80000 No. And if I... All of it. You'll never get another chance. They're running low of fallen angel decks. Well, Banner, how about it? Uh... Okay, Tex. Boy, bring a fresh deck. Well, that's uh, very sporting of you, Venner. But then uh, you've had an unfair advantage of me right along. Unfair advantage, Tex? Oh, <laughs> you had Miss Lucky for moral support. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so. All right, here's the deck. You break it open, Tex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Venner. After you. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take this one. Well, <laughs> oh, not bad. You got to beat the king of hearts, Tex. Well, pretty slim chance, I'd say. Well, here goes nothing. Hold it, Tex. Yep. Yes, Miss Nuggy. Let me draw your card. I'm lucky. No, uh, I'd say that's up to Miss Lucky, Venner. Unless there's some reason she shouldn't. There isn't. I'll take... This one. Well, the ace of diamonds, Miss Lucky. The ace of diamonds. Miss Lucky, I kind of owe you a great deal. <laughs> Would you allow me to start repaying you with a dinner, ma'am? Why not? I go with the money. <laughs> Mr. Venner, it's 10.30. You got an hour and a half to dig up 20,000 class of Rocco. We closed the books on you, and all you do is talk about a bay. Yeah, but I've got to see her, Johnny. Take me to her apartment, will you? Okay, Mr. Venner, if you want to spend your last minutes with a doll, it is your business. Come on. <laughs> What do you want, Tony? This is J. 
Johnny the gent, Lucky. He's going to wait outside for me. How do you do? I will be close by, Mr. Vanner. Remember that. Yeah, I know. Okay, Tony, what's it all about? You know we're washed up. Yeah, I know. You go with the money. And Tex Ruskin has millions. You know, you're dumber than I thought. Didn't it ever occur to you that I might really love Ace Kendrick? What? Well, I did. More than any man I ever met. I was crazy about him. Oh, Did you I, I... think I'd let you get away with murdering him? Well, but then... Why did you help me? Furnish me an alibi. <laughs> you were so grateful you couldn't see you'd pulled a perfect job. You were clean on that murder. No fingerprints, nothing. Well, then... Then why didn't you turn me over to the police? How could I? I had no proof. Anyway, I wanted to square it for Ace myself. <laughs> Your face was wonderful to watch when I flipped that card tonight. It was white and pasty like it is now. Like it's going to be when they shave your head. Now, do you understand? You killed the man I love, you milk-fed lounge lizard. You're going to whine all the way down the last mile. And I'm laughing. <laughs> Your mistake, Lucky. You shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> Fallen angel. <laughs> okay, Johnny. Hello, I'm... Mr. Venner. Remember Wait. me? Burke from Homicide? Wait. Burke. Yes, I, I trailed you and Johnny the Gent here. Just that Johnny taken down to headquarters. See, we learned Johnny had driven an unidentified man to Kendrick's apartment the night he was murdered. We figured it was his boss, Rocco, so we raided his place. Found his books, found Ace owed Rocco some dough, so we doped it Rocco, bumped Ace. You you think Rossini killed Ace Kendrick? Sure. We also saw your name in the books and figured you were in danger. What was Johnny telling you all over? I'm glad I didn't arrive too late. Well, I'll be going now. Oh, uh, by the way, I gotta call headquarters. You mind if I come inside and use the phone? Well, no, no, you mustn't. I'll I... only be I... a minute. I I could have been free. I could have been free. Oh, no. <laughs> Bennett. The girl in there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You should have dealt them off the top of the deck, kid. Let's go. And that, Creed, brings down the curtain on The Adventure of the Fallen Angel, tonight's performance in the Mystery Playhouse starring Lester Tremaine as Tony Vanner. The original music for tonight's program was composed and conducted by Alexander Semler. For Creeps, our Mystery Playhouse doors are closing, so until next time, good night. Sleep time. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.